Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to Commute Talk. Got a bit of a hiccup today, but I think it's gone now, so we'll see. Um, so people often ask me why I don't use a debugger, and it came up again this morning, so I thought I could talk a little bit about it in the car. So um, when I first learned programming, I was using debuggers all the time, and I really liked the Visual Basic debugger, um, and then the Visual C++ debugger after that. And I've also, you know, enjoyed using GDB and LLDB for some years. Um, and I know how to use these tools. I'm no expert by any means, but I can make them work for me a little bit. Um, but the truth is that whenever I get to choose what I do with my time, I never really open the debugger. And I'm just so much more comfortable using print statements. And uh, apparently this is weird and surprising to many people. Um, and I guess I should say that I used to bring out the debugger um, even, I don't know, like two years ago or so, because primarily because I thought that you were supposed to. Like I had these ideas about how like, uh, if you're a professional programmer, you use the debugger because only an amateur would use printf, you know? Um, this, this way of thinking. And then, of course, I would use printf anyway, and then I would feel uh, kind of dirty and uh, <laughs> pretend like I wasn't doing that. Um, but uh, honestly, the thing that works for you is the thing that you should be doing, right? And the debugger is just not for me. Um, and I really started changing my mind about that when I met a lot of the people working on WebKit and Safari because um, so many of them that I looked up to and I thought were such great programmers, they were using printf <laughs> exclusively to debug stuff. And uh, that really blew my mind at first. And um, I thought, wow, I can't believe it. They're not even trying to hide what they're doing. <laughs> but um, when I asked about it, they just said that that's what they like doing, and they're, they're more productive that way. And it finally set me on the path to admitting to myself that that's what I like doing, too. And I, I do feel more productive using print statements. And um, I certainly don't hold it against someone using the debugger. Like, I think that it's just a personality type or, or something. Um, maybe with people who use the debugger, I would think that they maybe are more um, detail-focused and they're trying to like isolate some particular thing. <clears throat> and I can certainly see how debugger is amazing if you're working in a foreign code base, for instance. Uh, but in my case, since I wrote 90% of the code that I'm working with, uh, often more, but let's say 90%, uh, then I have a pretty good model of the program in my head already. And usually debugging is more about uh, figuring out where my mental model of the program is wrong rather than um, like isolating <clears throat> like a typo or a programming mistake, because um, I, I, do tend to, I do tend to think that you should strive to create um, as, good a as good as possible of a model of the program you're working on in your head. And um, then you can, you can test things against that model, right? And it helps you program, and it helps you uh, develop faster if you can do that. And for me, using a debugger is not conducive to improving that model or um, fixing that model, because the debugger just shows me, OK, so here's uh, the mistake, but it doesn't say anything about um, where that mistake fits into my misunderstanding of the program. So that's where the print statements come in. So if you've seen me doing this, then uh, what I tend to do is just put a lot of print statements where I uh, want to know what's happening, and I sort of use them to validate my assumptions about what's going on. And 
I already use assertions um, to, a, to an extent for this type of stuff. Um, there's always room for more of them, but sometimes assertions are not enough, right? Um, although I should get better about turning debug sessions into assertions, actually. Like, once I discover something uh, is a certain way, then I could also add an assertion that will check for that in the future to take the load off the mind next time I want to debug something. But anyway, um, it's, I really don't want to say that there's a right or wrong way to do this. It's more that I am happy and comfortable not using a debugger, and I really do feel that it helps me build a much better understanding of programs, and um, it's a more productive environment for me. And when it comes to productivity, like you have to look at, you have to look at the net productivity. So maybe you spend um, an hour printfing your way to what a bug was, but in that hour, you are also um, like solidifying your understanding of the program, and you are doing a walkthrough of the different parts of it over and over, and and taking it in and, and internalizing a lot of it. And uh, very often you find other issues along the way. And there is a huge benefit to that because the next time you come there, you're not starting from a clean slate, hopefully, but you remember some of this. Um, and you can come at it with, with more knowledge. Um, but not just for debugging, but also for things like um, you know, continuous refactoring and optimization. Because in order to improve a program's architecture or performance, it is very, very helpful if you have a really good understanding of the program. Uh, and it's possible to build that understanding using a profiler. And you can certainly like give, give a good performance engineer a profiler and a program, and, and he can make it go faster for sure. But if that person also has an extremely good understanding of the program um, architecture and uh, why things are the way that they are and um, has like this detailed knowledge about everything, then it can be so much more effective at optimizing and improving the program. And I want to be that guy, right? I want to be that guy who comes there. When it's time to optimize, I want to come there not with just a profiler and a um, good attitude, but a profiler, a good attitude, and um, a solid understanding of what the program is doing. Anyway, um, I, I personally feel that printf debugging, uh, whatever you think about it, for me, it helps me build that understanding of my program. Uh, and it's really comfortable way of debugging for me and I always find the bug in the end so it does work um, sometimes debugging with a debugger can be a lot faster but you don't get you don't really get the side benefits and the side benefits are really big for me so that's what I'm looking for um, although I will say that if I have Valgrind available, I will use Valgrind um, very happily. <laughs> and it's probably the one thing I miss the most on Serenity at the moment when it comes to like outside tools or third-party stuff. It would be really cool to have Valgrind. Um, maybe I should spend some time on porting it. I have no idea what goes into porting it, but I'm a big fan. Um, I'm a big fan of Valgrind. I always have been ever since I first discovered it, I don't know, what, 15 years ago or something. <sighs> Shoutouts to um, Julian Seward. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess, I guess that's that. Like, that's, that's my thoughts on using a debugger. If you use a debugger uh, and that works for you, then that's awesome. And I hope that you uh, have a great success using your debugger. And for those of you who don't use a debugger and you feel like maybe you should be, but you're actually more comfortable 
using print statements, just be you, man. Like, it's OK. <laughs> it's OK to use a print statement. You don't have to feel bad about yourself. Um, you would be joining a club of a surprising number of happy print efforts. Um, there are so many of us, and we're OK, too. Anyways, um, I'm out of things to say. So I'm <laughs> just going to say thanks for hanging out with me on the commute. And uh, as always, if you have any questions, suggestions, comments, or uh, otherwise, um, the comment uh, section below is always open. And I will try to talk about anything as long as it's remotely tasteful. <laughs> um, other than that, I'm just going to say have a great day. And I will see you next time. Bye.